going to be hot throughout the weekend. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, even hotter for our Sunday coming up. We got temperatures bumping up into the 90s, which climate would say, climatology would say that we get four more of those through the end of the year. So looks like we're going to get that on Sunday coming up tomorrow. Still 76 degrees as you head outside. Temperatures remaining on the warmer side. Our dew points have actually been rising as we head into the evening hours, so it's easier to hold on to some of that heat. We did hit 86 degrees in Indianapolis earlier today. Look at that. Bloomington got to 88 earlier this afternoon. Our normal high temperature, 84 degrees. That number is starting to tick down just a little bit here on out for the rest of the year. Right now on our satellite and radar, we're looking at dry conditions here at home, so that's going to turn into sunshine and clear weather for us to start off the day tomorrow and it'll also help us heat into the lower 90s tomorrow afternoon. A quick check on our future cast because there's not a lot in the immediate short term. It looks like we could get some isolated rain showers for tomorrow afternoon and potentially an isolated thunderstorm, but most of you are going to have a dry day ahead and not experiencing any storm activity whatsoever because the better chance of rain coming up is going to be on Monday and Tuesday. Now, right now, again, those temperatures not dropping too cool right now because our dew points have gone up a little bit, so it's still 76 in Indianapolis, 70 in Shelbyville and Bloomington where we had that 88 degree high temperature today still sitting at 75 and these numbers on the rise are going to help a little bit with that in the overnight low temperatures which are going to be dropping into the upper 60s this evening and some I think could even maintain some low 70s. Now as we head into the heat index for tomorrow afternoon now that's where things could change if we get that dew point to keep on rising a little bit with those warming temperatures it could feel like we're in the mid 90s but I don't think it's going to be feeling much hotter than that. Hey, we briefly mentioned what's going on in the tropics right now, talking about this inactive or slow hurricane season. Remember, we're referring to the Atlantic Basin. That is where hurricanes might come from or tropical storms could develop that potentially would affect us here at home with post-tropical remnants and giving us a little bit of excess rainfall, which with the dry summer that we've had with local storm systems, mid-latitude cyclones, yeah, we could really use a little bit of extra help anywhere we can get them. But three named storms so far this season and none of them were hurricanes at least while they were in the Atlantic because one of them did go on to maintain hurricane status once it went into the eastern Pacific. So this means it's one of the slowest starts to hurricane season in 30 years. But hey, September 10th, that's peak hurricane season, so that could all change here soon. We're looking at um, activity looking to ramp up as we head towards the end, at least into September and all the way through the end of November. That's how long hurricane season lasts. But we've had both Alex and Colin that did slightly affect the U.S., at least southern portions of Florida earlier in the last couple of months, but still a few more months to go for hurricane season. Here at home, we haven't seen any kind of tropical remnants and not much rainfall either. 90 degrees for the high temperature coming up tomorrow on Sunday, and then we got our next best chance of rain for Monday and Tuesday right before temperatures start to drop and humidity will lower as well. Chris?